the MV Chem Pluto ship that has returned to Mumbai. It has anchored off the coast of Mumbai. Uh, meanwhile, I'd request the crew upstairs to put the latest visuals that we'd got on the screen. Yes, exactly. This uh, picture over here in particular shows you the extent of the damage that has taken place. Uh, the Navy, of course, has done a preliminary analysis. Uh, they have, in fact, stated uh, that uh, it is a drone attack that has caused this uh, damage. The analysis was undertaken by Indian Navy's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team and follow-up actions are also being uh, progressed at the moment. Meanwhile, the Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, has been briefed on the initial analysis. Uh, the Navy has also uh, uh, you know, probed on scene uh, the, exactly how the situation is at the moment and has ascertained uh, that the explosive charge on the drone detonated completely causing extensive damage above uh, the waterline. The vector of course uh, yet to be found and yet to be ascertained but this is what we're tracking. Arzu joins us on the broadcast. Arzu over to you for more details. Uh, well, the Indian Navy in their initial examination of the recent assault on the merchant vessel MV Chem Pluto in the Arabian Sea suggests suggest a high likelihood of a drone attack. Uh, in fact, the chief of the naval staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, received a briefing on the uh, preliminary analysis conducted by the Indian Navy's explosive ordnance disposal team and uh, subsequent measures underway as stated by the Indian Navy. Uh, the probe based on the crew input and on screen examination also ascertained uh, that the explosion charge on the drone denoted uh, completely causing extensive damage above the waterline. These statements further read also uh, remnants of the projectiles have been collected by the Indian Navy for further forensic analysis in coordination with other agencies, notably MV and Pluto with 20 Indians and one veterinary Crew members caught fire on Saturday after it was attacked by the suspected bird. It was later secured by the Indian Coast Guard, uh, the ICG said in the official statement. The merchant vehicle reportedly commenced its voyage from UAE on December 19 and was bound from, for new Mandela port with an arrival date of December 25th. All right, Arzu. I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, uh, showcasing all those details. But also with us is uh, Colonel Shivan Singh, a defense expert. Sir. Uh, good morning and thank you for joining us on NewsX. We're, of course, uh, discussing the Indian Navy's preliminary analysis of the attack that had taken place on the MV Chem Pluto. Some images have uh, come out showcasing the extent of the damage. Uh, it is quite considerable. Our viewers can see uh, quite a massive hole on uh, the part of the ship which is above the water line. A considerable damage has also taken place inside. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the analysis was of course undertaken by the explosive ordnance disposal team. But what is really concerning at this point is that the Red Sea crisis is spilling over to the Arabian Sea um, and you know, our, our ships, merchant vessels that are in fact operating in this area are now coming under attack uh, by drones. Um, how do you think we can in fact step up our maritime security and how crucial it is at this point that India does not become embroiled in it because then trade will also get affected, especially that of crude oil? You see, this is because of war going on in Middle East, in which Israel and Hamas are interlocked in the war, and all these terrorist groups, which are operating from here and there in, in from complete Middle East, they are trying to create disability in complete uh, Arabian Sea and area around, so that world, complete world, gets alarmed and try to pressurize Israel to stop this war. So same act they have done. Now in this case, superpowers should be brought in there and should be asked to check these elements who are affecting international sea routes. And uh, India alone cannot get involved in the Caribbean Sea because there are uh, many uh, terrorist groups uh, operating there. 
and secondly there are many other countries who, who should also be there so it is not india cannot alone do it india can only do in you know in own sea that is indian ocean and uh, sea around india so it is it, it india should ask super powers and uno to intervene and ensure that international routes are safe for the merchant ships for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon